With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, it is given that there is a equiconvex lens with radius of curvature given to be 10 cm, which is put over a liquid layer poured, uh, uh, poured on the top of the plane mirror. That means there is also a plane mirror, then there would be liquid layer and there is a lens. Now a small needle which is placed with, the, uh, with its tip on the principal axis is moved uh, along the axis until the inverted uh, real image coincides with the needle itself. Now the distance if we measure the distance it turns out to be 15 centimeter for this case. Now when we remove the liquid layer and repeat the experiment the distance of the uh, measured is given as to be distance is measured as to be 10 centimeter. That means when only the lens is placed okay and uh, there is no uh, uh, this liquid. Now we need to find given the two values of the distance move with respect to the uh, force length values in the two cases that means these values we need to calculate what is the value of the refractive index now we first represent our situation let's say this is our let's say this is our mirror okay now on this mirror we have placed our so this is our mirror now on this uh, mirror we have placed our uh, this lens we say that this is our let's say convex lens okay now we have also poured liquid so here it would be liquid which we have poured. Now, on the principal axis of this lens, we draw the principal axis like this. On the principal axis of this lens, we place an object. Now, it is given that object uh, image is formed on the object itself. Now, when it could happen? So, for example, if the ray of light are going from here, okay, let's say the ray of, ray of light are going from here. So, if the image is to be formed at this location, the light should retrace the path. When it would happen? When it would strike the mirror normally, then only it could retrace its path. That means the light ray would be uh, this uh, 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 this going uh, from after striking from the mirror, they would be going parallel. Now, where are the parallel light ray coincident? They would be coinciding on the uh, this focus. That means in the first case, what is the distance which have been given? This is the distance. So it has been given as to be our 15 centimeter. This would be the focal length of the combination of lens and the water. So we say that if the focal length of the lens feed uh, uh, this uh, this focal length of the lens we take to be fg we denote it as our glass and for our water we say that or we can say that liquid it is fl we take this value so l is for the liquid g is for the glass so we can say that the combined focal length 1 by f this would be equals to 1 by fg plus 1 divided by fl or we can say that 1 divided by fl this would be equals to uh, 1 divided by f minus 1 divided by fg which is g is our uh, what we can say g is our uh, this glass okay. now now in the second situation what we are doing we are just removing the water okay and now the image is again located at the distance of 10 centimeter that means somewhere here it would be located somewhere here again because the image is formed on the uh, uh, object itself that means the light should retrace the path now if light should retrace the path so it should fall normally on the mirror now if it is forming normally on the mirror that that means what so there would be parallel light ray which would be going and they would be converging at the point of 10 centimeter so what would be this 10 centimeter 10 centimeter this would be the focal length of what focal length of the glass okay so we say that we got the focal length of the glass as well so 1 divided by fl this would be equals to 1 divided by 15 minus 1 divided by 10 so if we solve this then we get the value as to be minus 1 divided by 30 centimeter now what is our liquid layer behaving as so it would be behaving as a plano convex lens so one one of the surface is our plane and another surface is a uh, this uh, convex so it would be behaving as a plano convex so for the case of our uh, this uh, uh, liquid layer we can say that 1 divided by fl this would be equals to mu minus 1 1 divided by r1 minus 1 divided by r2 now focal length of the liquid we know it is equals to minus 1 divided by 30 refractive index we need to determine so mu minus 1 1 divided by what would be our r1 so if we check for the radius of curvature for this part okay for this uh, convex part so it would be coming here so it would be measured opposite to the direction of the incident ray so it would be taken as to be negative of uh, this uh, 10 minus 10 so it would be negative of 10 minus 1 divided by r2 r2 is this surface planar surface so the planar surface radius of curvature is infinity so you put the value as to be infinity so this would give us mu minus 1 value would be equals to 1 divided by 3 or we can say that mu value would turn out to be 1 plus 1 by 3 that means 4 by 3 or we can say that it would be equals to 1.33. So this is the uh, refractive index. Hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.